At 33 feet, three inches long, roughly 6,900 pounds dry. If you're looking for an entry-level bunkhouse unit with upgraded features and amenities, I think you and your family are going to love if your first RV was the Forest River Salem 26D Bud. Yes. If your family would like to have the refined camping experience, but like me, you do not have a refined camping bank account, let me tell you, the Forest River Salem is for you because they are entry-level RVs with mid-tier, almost high-tier amenities in them, huge windows, versatile seating. You, trust me, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. This is the 26 D-Bud. D-B-U-D. What's the bud stand for? It depends on what state you're in. But with this one, it stands for double bunk U-shaped dinette. And you'll see that over here in the off-camp side, we got the double over double bunk, solid ladder mounted in the top, window with curtain there in the back, dual USB charging both on the top and the bottom. Plus, you got the privacy curtain right here. Now, I, sure, if you need to sleep a bunch of people, eight or more, bunk houses are the way to go. If you got pets, they are great. If you just need additional storage space, or if you say, you know what, Chris, we, we're gonna turn this into a hunting cabin, a fishing cabin. The ladies, we're gonna go on that wine tour, or we're gonna do some ladies hunting, whatever. Bunk houses are the best way to go because of the versatility there. And I really like this 26D bud, because check out on the bottom bunk, I got strut supported storage back there, which means this top would stay up you could slide hunting cases, bags, whatever you want, right in there. And you also have the plush teddy bear style mattresses that are three inches thick and comfortable. Just get the foam topper. Solid door leading into the bathroom here with its own access point. I like this because if you do bring the kids, you do bring the animals, they get dirty. You can come in here, get cleaned up so you're not tracking all that nastiness through your coach. Plastic bowl with the foot flush, high rise, good leg room here too. Plus I'm not cramped by this uh, curved shower door, which we're gonna get to here in a second. Over here on my bathroom, I got the single basin with the brush nickel sink. I like the addition of the backsplash top to bottom on this as well. Plus the decorative silver brush style medicine cabinet right there. Got the little safety suspension latch for you to help keep everything in place while you're in transit. I got my vent, my fan, and check out my single surround shower with the herringbone pattern that's matching the floor. I like the flow and the look of this. That's what Forest River did for 2022 with the Salem's. They really upgraded some of the design and flow inside your RV. Now being six foot two, got plenty of headroom. The skylight's giving me some additional of that. I got my shower nozzle right here, my controls, plus my door is on the angled bar. So I'm gonna get more room and you got that Aquaflex style showered curtain slash door. So would that be a Durton or a Core? I don't know. My name ain't Webster. Okay, walk out into the kitchen area and you'll see right here, we got the main pantry, good space right there as well. I got my Everchill 12 volt fridge. This is 11 cubic feet right here. It's vibration smart. It is frost resistant. And since it's 12 volt, it's gonna run off the coach batteries. It's not like the gas electric with the automatic switch, which means if you go boondocking, just make sure you get the solar with it as well. You are prepped for panels on the roof. Uh, and if you get you know some good solar options, that could run trickle charge battery and you'll be absolutely fine. I'm gonna get to the rest of the kitchen here in a minute, but I want you to see this first. Two things. Actually, three things. The Versa Lounge, which here is a U-shaped dinette. You move the center cushion out and the back cushion. This could easily be a booth dinette. It's also a full-size bed. And if you say, Chris, this is cool. I like all these little Velcro uh, cushions that you got going on. Let me tell you, these things are plush and comfortable and they have that material on them that you won't sweat like some of the leatherette. I like that feature. This is the feature I really like. If you want to turn this into a chaise lounge, Bobby, take the camera and you see down here how we have these notches. You could put the cushions 
inside those notches and now you have yourself a chaise lounge over here. Sure, I didn't get it all the way in there. I'm just trying to show you for effect. And look at this. I got my little Velcro cushion. If I want to put it there, I could put one of those cushions there. My jackknife sofa could come out. Boom, I got myself a full-size bed. Versa Lounge is really, it's exactly like the name says. It is so versatile, it allows you to do so many things, including maybe knock some sense into yourself, because if you're not getting the Versa Lounge in your RV, you're missing out, son. And if you want to keep organized, let me tell you. One of these days, I'm not going to be a klutz. Doubtful. You have the organization system like we have right here. Love that because you get it underneath the jackknife sofa and you get it underneath the storage compartment of your dinette, which does reduce down into a sleeper. But this is great because if you need additional laundry space, if you need, hey, we need one box for winter clothes, one box for spring clothes, one box for whatever, you got three under the jackknife, two under there, games, whatever you want to put in there. It's just a great way of keeping you organized and enjoying that camp trip. Plus, it's plush and comfortable, surrounded by huge panoramic windows with decorative wood balances and side balances. And like Bobby likes to point out, the back of the shades are white, whereas most RVs that you get these days, uh, the shades are black. That, you know, black is going to absorb the heat. That's going to reflect the heat. So this will help keep your coach a lot cooler. Come over here to the campsite, L-shaped kitchen, and you'll notice we have that pressed surface countertop with the rolled edge. I like that flush mounted three burner cooktop, high output with the glass cover and the little accent light. Plus I got my Greystone oven right there. So if I wanna bake some fish, bake some shrinky dinks, I can. Flush mounted microwave, hood, and solid wood cabinetry with that matte black feature right here with the textured frosted glass windows. Not only does this look and feel good, it really adds to the flow and the aesthetic of the light white and grayish interior that we have inside the Salem's for 22. High space on my shelves right here. And you'll notice with my sink, not only do I have good prep space right here, I'm missing a faucet which is usually the high rise suspension sprayer faucet. Well, this unit has actually already been sold because so many people are liking what Forest River's doing with the V-Bud that the couple that bought this went to the Camping World Design Center and said, hey, can we get a different faucet put in there? We like that sprayer, but we want something, we want one of the thicker ones. Well, with the Design Center, you can do anything you want with your RV. That's what's so great about it. Buy this, if you don't have the Versa Lounge, get it put in. But just get one with the Versa Lounge. Undermounted 50-50 sink right here. I like the white. At first, I didn't. Uh, plus, you got the rolling dryer rack right there. Uh, I was kind of like, Meh. I like the stainless steel, but still a very good look. Plenty of storage over here as well. You got the pull-out shelves, full extension on the ball bearing drives there. Good spot for your trash can under there. Walk around to the entertainment center and you'll see this is your TV backer right here. Can fit up to a 55 inch TV. You got your cable ports right here to run your connections through. And you got the feeder right there. Plus you get, we are pre-wired for the King Wi-Fi booster. You got your outlet, your cable and connection. The Furion sound bar, which is HDMI, AM, FM, dual zone, extremely loud. And you got the decorative fireplace. Now I'm, I'm used to the 31 inch glass based fireplace. I like this one with the faux wood logs in there. You still get the same thing. Multi flame setting, multi light setting, roughly 4,700 BTUs of heat coming off of there. It is electric, uh, but it'll do a good job of knocking the chill off the air. Plus you got the underlit mud room right there. So if you want to put your shoes, get some storage space, you absolutely can. Got your more pantry storage right here. Good space for like those cooking necessities, maybe the cereal boxes, the spices, whatever. That's going to be a good space for it. I like the decor that we have in the roof here as well. You'll notice it's very cabin style, very rustic, light and beautiful. 13.5 BTU AC, 25 BTU, uh, 25,000 BTU furnace on this one. They are quick cooled. Now, if you do have the 50 amp 26D bud, you'll get the 15K and be pre-wired for the 13.5 
inside the master bedroom, which is where we're going right now. Come in here, you got the queen size bed nestled into the slide with the mirrored ward storage on both sides and the cubby access. I like that because if you need to get your cell phone or get something out of the ward, you're not getting up, waking you know your loved ones up by opening the doors. Plus you got the frosted and textured glass inlay here on the side opening storage doors. Dual USB charging on both sides. I got my little net hamper right here. Or as Bob likes to say, that's a good spot to throw all your stink so it's not inside the RV. It'll be in the pass-through storage, which we take a look at the bed. You can access by lifting the bed up, strut supported, access the storage outside, which is great because if it's raining or snowing, you can get to whatever you need to get through in the storage without having to go outside. Plus you got the storage bins here, the mudroom storage there. And I got myself a little ward closet right here. With the Salem's, Forest River has really done a good job of just maximizing what you do with your space. TV backer, power, and cable connection there as well. And with this 26 D-Bud um, solid pocket door here as well. Uh, and with this 26 D-Bud, it's, it's, it's really good flow. Solid beautiful i love the versa lounge and it, plenty of room for the family you're not going to be cramped in here one way or the other but we've seen the inside of this forest river salem 26 d bud what do you say we go take a look at the outside so here we are on the outside of the all new forest river salem 26 d bud we're going to start right up front diamond plated rock guard below that seamless superflex roof i like the addition of the twin 30 pound lp tanks up front plus you got the powered tongue jack with light all on that single weld aluminum frame and you got reinforced true stabilization jacks right there or the scissor jacks with the heated and enclosed underbelly, which is also known as the accessibility. That's just a paneled system. So if something happens, you need to access one of the tanks or a rock pops up and hits one of the panels, you don't have to take off the whole bottom. You can just take off one panel at a time. Very nice feature. A finished off pass through storage with wider and taller access doors. You'll see our little hamper basket right there. And here's the portion that was accessible from the master bed. It is finished off. And if you notice on the back of the storage doors here, they have a dry erase surface. They changed this. So if you need to make notes or whatever, or see what's in there, that's a nice little touch. Just kind of continuing that flow of organization that they have inside the Forest River Salem. Plus magnetic and anti-slam. Yet the seamless, uh, or excuse me, the, uh, the the sealed safety windows all the way around. Large awning with the LED light strip and the solid moride steps leading me into the entry point here with the extra large grab handle. And I got to tell you, a couple of years ago, manufacturers started putting the griddles for the outside kitchen. This is such a nice addition because it does open up the option of breakfast, really can expands what you can make as opposed to just having those two burners. Plus you got your little Everchill mini fridge right here spray port right there this is a double axle nitro filled tires on those steel rims those dexter easy loop axles here is your rear stabilization jack kind of close to the rear tire plus you got your marine grade speakers here which are backlit external you got your fresh tank fill your drains underneath cable connection and power so if you want to set up some outside entertainment you absolutely can entry points into the bathroom right here four by four sewer hose storage and spare tire mounted on the back you'll notice you got those arch ceilings with those three inch rubber nozzles to keep the rain the elements off the top of this rv and off the slides and your friends plus we are set up for backup camera right here i got my connections and my termination so we got a black tank flush city water connection cable satellite 30 amp plug right here. Plus you got your main terminations, your black and your gray tank. And on this one, we got a 40, 60, 30. 40 gallon fresh, 60 galley, 30 black. Um, I wish those were a little bigger. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like how a lot of manufacturers are putting in the 60 gallon fresh tanks, but you're pre-wired for solar. So you put a panel on top of there, 40, 60, 30 is still good space. If you wanna do those weekend getaways boondocking, not too bad at all. Just for me, I like taking six showers a day to each his own. Other side of the pass-through storage right here. Plus, 
One of the most important things you're gonna find on any RV is going to be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? For example, gross vehicle weight on this one, 95.95. So you take that information and you take the dry weight and you take that back to your uh, specialist at Camper and Gander and say, you know, hey, what does that mean? Because here's what my vehicle can tow. Uh, is this right for me? Because at the end of the day, that's really what's going to help us guide you down the path of finding the RV that's right for you. How much can you tow? How many people do you need to sleep? And where are you going to go camping? Because insulation is a big thing. But for be 33 feet, three inches long, can sleep seven to 10, depending on the configuration, especially with kids, comfortably with all that space and those upgraded features. I got to tell you, man, this 26 D Bud by Forest River, Salem, it's a good option for your first bunkhouse camper. Tons of upgraded features. I think you're really going to enjoy it, especially if you like to be organized. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about this one. What'd you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you. And as always, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you appreciated it and enjoyed it. This is coming home with me now. See you soon.